Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. So in this episode, we are continuing with our uh, Angular with Bootstrap full tutorial series where we are building a live application. In this particular tutorial, we will connect the missing pieces between Bootstrap components and Angular components, which is mainly the Bootstrap navbar. But before we get started, I request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. If you have, if you haven't checked out the previous episodes where we are covering and building this whole application called Reminders, please do so. So that way you don't miss out on valuable information. Also, in this particular tutorial, we will connect Bootstrap Navbar through which we will create routes, and then we will also incorporate them into Angular components by using router outlets, and also. Um, kind of combining them to make our application fully functional. Right now, we are learning to use static, but we are slowly converting it into putting it uh, entirely into uh, a beautiful application, which is fully connected pieces. So let's get that started. All right, so like I said, we are building on uh, this application. So let's get right into it and understand how to connect the different pieces together. So before we do that, let me show you the story so far and then we can grow on top of it. So if you see our application is looking like this so far, which has the reminders, contacts, about and a button to add new and it will show this week, next week and this month, right? So far so good, but we'll have to, we have a lot of work on this. So let's get started. So the first thing we will do is we will go to our header and this is what I've done. Uh, I've added a new, uh, I would say parameter where what we are doing is we are just giving the path that it has to go. So if it is home, it has to go to home slash home. If it is reminders, it has to go to slash reminders. And then if it has contacts, it will go to contacts. And then finally, if it has to go to about page, it will go to about, right? And in the header, what I've done is I've just added a href in printing the link URL. So what it will do is it will just print out the URL links as it is. Let's see this in action first, and then we will go to the next step. So now if you hover on this, you can see in the URL below here, that it's showing reminders, contacts, about. So it's basically getting the URLs from that particular JSON list. Now that is done. So now what we'll do is when I click on contacts or reminders, it should go to my reminders. It should go to contacts. For that, there is some more refactoring we have to do. Let's go to content. In this right now, if you see, we are projecting all the content inside this particular one um, component. But that is not the ideal case, nor will it be in your application. You will need multiple views or outlets through which you will show the data, right? So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a couple of components here. And let's call ng generate component. I'll call it, call it this week list. So this will have all the this week's list. And then I'll call it ng generate next week. And then finally, we will have this month. So three, three simple components, which will have outlets for three different things. One will be for this week, one will be for next week, and the one will be for this month. So that way we will now move our code out of from here. The code, I'll move it out here. And in from content, I've removed it. I will put it in this week. I will move out the content from here and I will call it 
in next week I will move out the content from this card and we will move it into next month all right uh, we'll, we'll have to provision this some more by making it dynamic but don't worry about that now let's keep building so if you see the card is now empty the content is empty there is nothing in it all right so far so good let's see the application all right so it's empty because there is basically nothing in there so what we are going to do is now first we will define our routing strategy and then place the content accordingly so what we'll do is we'll go to back to our code and now open up your router app dot routing so here we'll define our routes so for example when i click on reminders where should it go when i click on a path where should it go so let's see that and then we'll refactor the components so that it is dynamically taking any parameter so first if it's home where should it go if it is reminders where should it go if it's contact where should it go and about right so these are the four links that we have in our application here so let's create four components for each of it so first we will say ng generate component and we need the route routing for it right so we are going to call it contacts so it generated contacts component then i'm generating one more which is called reminders so it will generate the reminders components and then we are going to generate one more uh, let's call this home So basically these are a uh, few components that I have uh, generated. You can have any on this. We will refactor this week, next week into making it a dynamic. So for that, we'll just say, we already have a item called list items. We'll make it a dynamic uh, variable so that we can pass it. So first let's get that into place. So reminders is the component which it should point in the routing in for the reminders just add that component for contacts give the contacts and for about okay we have not created about but that's fine so you get the idea now let's just import them by quick fixes So we are just importing those components it's ready now when we click on it it will go to reminders when we click on contacts it will go to contacts let's see that all right so now i'm going to click on reminders it says reminder works when i click on my contacts contact works right so basically it means that it is going to that particular respective components now we will learn how to map that inside the container so for that we'll say so we will move our content code right into each specific each of the specific component dot html so we have called it here which is app component so remember whenever we say app component uh, it will be projected from everything that is projected here will be projected here so instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it outside a uh, router outlet and i will have router outlet for each of the view basically so that way for each component i will have the data provided right so that's how uh, we are going to refactor that in some more time but for now understand that when i click on reminders it says reminders work when I click on my contacts, it says contacts work and so on and so forth. So here we are going to define our schema 
and that is what will be the basic uh, detail that will be coming so i'm going to refactor this little bit move this code out and move it to app component since this is the main code that will reside and i will have my router outlet inside all right so now you see contact works reminder works right so home works so this is how um, we will refactor it so let's go some more and move all the code and refactor it you will have to refactor your code a little bit which is fine which is what um, all applications start with all applications will uh, go through at some point uh, so it's normal so don't worry if you have to work some more so now you see it says reminder works now it says contact works right so similarly we will refactor our list also and make it uh, suitable to work inside it so let's put that now so inside the reminders inside the reminders we will add app this week so this should show this week's so see now this is showing all of it but we only want few so we will put that and let's go back let's tweak it little bit uh, so here we have added everything instead I'm going to move one div out now it's shaping up like a proper application if you see so now will you see all right let it reload okay so now we have my reminders add new inside the reminders when we go to contacts it's not there so this again will refactor a little bit by putting no border to the list group so let's do that also uh, in the content okay not in the content CSS uh, it would be in the list items sorry alrighty here we have list group item which is not there and for card so I'm going to copy both of this and since these are global styles I'll put it in my global CSS which is style.css okay what's happening here let's see quickly uh, this week since we added it into this week let's add it here all right so the card is gone it now it's just a beautiful list which is reminding us of this week and when you click on that contacts you can go there as well so so far we have combined all of the um, all of the components we have learned so far the application is coming up good we have our routers in place we still need some dynamic routing we will put that with respect to getting dynamic query parameters like get for this week get for next week etc we'll refactor that probably in the next or so episode but stay tuned i hope you're enjoying building application with me and i'll see you in the next episode all right and if you have any doubts please drop them in the comment section below i will be happy to to help you or provide you with the logic or solution that you're looking for thank you so much for joining see you on the next episode